Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with CA Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo, publisher and CEO of SOT. Today, we've got two fairly new releases, early 2019, probably about a month or so, a little late on getting to these guys, but it's okay. Better late than never, I always say. Uh, two totally different releases, too, so I'm I'm kind of debating which one to talk about first. Let's go with the Norwegian act first. All right, so I'm talking about Motorcycle the Crucible from the trio from Norway. Again, called Motorcycle. This is somewhat, I'm not going to call it an EP because it's not 40 minutes. does not qualify as an EP, but it's actually much shorter than the uh, album that they put out previously, which was called The Tower, which was a rambling uh, two-CD epic release that uh, was my first introduction to the band. All right, that came out, I believe, was it last year? A year and a half ago, something like that. And this is the follow-up. So this one features three songs. So a little bit of history. So these guys have been around for like 30 years. They've got a million, obviously I'm exaggerating, a million studio EP and live releases over the years. Uh, many of them only ever released in their native Norway and the surrounding Scandinavian region, but it's with their last like kind of half a dozen or so albums that these guys have been put on a grander stage internationally speaking and a lot of their recent albums have been gotten have been getting a lot of attention uh, across the globe this one certainly will do the same so the band kind of started out as like kind of like an alternative psych rock act sort of right uh, then started to add some metal and stoner influences and a lot more prog rock into their sound well with the, their last couple of albums a lot of prog rock, a lot of psych elements to go with like a very kind of uh, chunky stoner uh, guitar riffing style. Uh, this is a really good album. So like I mentioned, only three tunes, uh, Psychosar, Lux Eterna, and The Crucible. The Crucible is like 20 minutes long. Lux Eterna is uh, just about 11, and the other track, the kickoff track, is almost 9. So 40 minutes of content, really, really cool. Really good artwork here, kind of follows along the similar imagery of the tower album that came before it tons of Mellotron a lot of Mellotron if you like Mellotron you're gonna love this flutes and sax right they have a, a guest player on reeds besides the three guys so it's guitarist vocalist bassist drummer three guys and then they've got a guest on like I said reeds uh what else yeah, someone else, uh, a guest vocalist on one track, you know, add some backing vocals and what have you. But um, think Court of the Crimson King, Wake of Poseidon, Lizard, and Islands, era King Crimson. Get a lot of that here. The big Mellotron swells mixed with the flute and the sax, kind of jazzy uh, reeds that kind of pop in and out. The big, heavy stoner rock riffing at times, right? Very cool, atmospheric, slightly jammy at times, heavy, creepy, proggy, rocking. This is really good, really good. And if, you know, I really like The Tower a lot, a little bit of a long album. This is kind of like that condensed a little bit with a lot more prog rock into their sound. Totally, totally, if this sounds interesting to you, don't hesitate to go investigate it. I really like these guys a lot. Um, a band that probably should be really, really big um, as far as, you know, like this type of audience goes. But really like that a lot. Next up, from Brooklyn, New York, the big band jam, jazz fusion, prog act, Grammy award winning snarky puppy, Immigrants is their latest, all instrumental. All right. You've been following these guys. They've been around for about 15 years. They got about just as many releases, live albums, studio albums, compilations, all this kind of stuff. There's a reason why these guys have been getting so much attention in uh, recent years from both, you know, jazz fans and jam band fans and prog fans and musicians and all that kind of stuff. Really intelligent melodies and songwriting. Great instrumentation. You know, you got guitars and keyboards and violin and all the rhythms and horns and reeds and all sorts of stuff, right? All kind of blending together in this kind of fusiony, jammy sound. But the melodies are awesome. Tunes are very memorable. Okay, and these guys, like I said, it's a really big band. They got a lot of people coming and going. Usually, at any time you go see them live, you know, 10, 12, 15 people on stage all at once, creating this big 
awesome sound. And I believe there's about, let's say about eight tracks on here. You know, most of them are in the five to eight minute range. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. You know, as far as like, if there's any band out there today that's kind of capturing that like early mid seventies fusion sound, but in a modern setting, okay, adding some jam elements, this is the band folks. Snarky Puppy, Immigrants. Uh, check out this one. You, you really can't go wrong with any of their studio albums or their live albums. They're all great. I got a handful of them. Really, really dig them. So, um, yeah, check them out. And check out reviews, in-depth reviews of both of these on www.seatranquility.org. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. Of course, we're here on the Mighty YouTube. Lots of good stuff coming up. Uh, what do we have? I'm going to try and squeeze in this weekend a, a questions and answers a top 10 songs. I haven't figured out which one it's going to be yet. Uh, we've got uh, meeting up with Steve Keeler in about a week and a half or so uh, and doing a whole bunch of recordings on top 10 song stuff. Uh, Butch Jones also on board for that in the coming weeks. Um, Mike Antonelli also. So we got a lot of guest stars coming up. Also, Jeff Young is going to be appearing on the show real, 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 real soon. Got that coming up too. I'm going to be on Music Without Boundaries, his internet radio show this Monday night. 10, 11 Eastern Standard Time, 7, 11 Pacific Time, talking about all sorts of cool stuff. So do not miss that, jeffyoungjams.com. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Check out Snarky Puppy and Motor Psycho. You won't regret it. See you soon. Bye-bye.